take a look at this image. And now also look at the histogram. If you've seen my previous video in which I explained how basically what a histogram is, you probably understand a little bit how that histogram is associated with that image. But sometimes your camera also can give you a histogram that looks like this. What's going on? Why do I have a histogram that is actually has three colors in it, red, green and blue? In this video, I'd like to explain briefly how a color histogram works. But before I go on, let me go on by explaining a little bit also how we perceive color and how the color is generated on your monitor because that will also give you an understanding of how a color histogram works. Now in order for you to understand how the histogram works in color, you need to understand that when you look at your monitor, when you think you see millions of colors, you're actually only seeing three colors, the red, the green, and the blue. Every pixel on your monitor is either a red, a green, or a blue pixel. And it is the amount and the varying intensities of those pixels that determine the color that you see. So if only the red pixels are on, you only see red colors. Similarly, if only the green pixels are on, you see green. If, for example, you see all the pixels are on at the same intensity, red, green and blue, your brain perceives that as white. So, how do you see orange, for example? Well, in this case, orange is a combination of red and a smaller amount or a lower intensity of green. As you can see, your brain perceives that as orange. Again, if we turn the red down and leave the green on, and we start increasing the blue intensity, you will start to see varying shades of green and blue as we go through the animation. So as a result, by tweaking the intensity and the type of pixels going off at any time, you can start to see a whole range of different colors develop. And that means when you look at your histogram, in its three channels, red, green, and blue, it gives you the, the range of intensities for each of the three colors that are showing for that color. So let's have a look at a sample image that I showed you earlier and see how the color histogram works. Now in this case, I'm using Photoshop to explore the histogram. So you'll notice here is a rural setting at a sunset. And over here on the right hand side, you see the luminosity histogram, which we've explained before. And here is the histogram in the three channels or the three colors, red, green, and blue. So let's have a look at the image. So you'll notice over here in this section right there, you'll see clearly we have a very bright orange section. And that orange section or more yellow section should be represented in the graph. It's the brightest section of the, of the actual image. So let's have a look over here and you will see that yellow is actually a combination of red and green uh, in terms of the pixels. You can clearly see this peak over here, the brightest section. But what is absent is the blue. And that makes sense. If this blue was also equally high, this would be white, but it isn't. And so as it is, it's quietly low. Now, if you then move to the rest of the image, this section over here, which is the next brightest section roughly, you can see it's a little more white. And if you look in this section of the, of the histogram, you see a certain amount of red and green, which is yellow. But of course, now we've got the blues coming in, which is consistent with a more white tone over here. As we continue to go into darker sections of the graph, you will notice that there's a predominantly blue. And as you move across, you can see that there are aspects of the graph where the blue is actually quite strong, but we have a drop off in the red particularly in this section and so you have this blue and some green but that would represent some of the blues over here. As we go down over here you can see that this section, the really darker sections, there's not much color there and as a result you don't have much red, green or blue actually showing. So you can see that each of the aspects of the image around the pictures going from the brightest areas to the darkest areas will have their own representative intensities of each of the colors. And that is mentioned here. 
and hopefully that gives you a better understanding of color histograms.